Hello! Today I would really like to share a little bit about how you can manage your performance anxiety. I want to give you three quick tips. Of course, there's a lot more to this, but these have really helped me and I hope they will help you too. So the first thing is before you get on stage, the most important thing is to let go of the tension that you're feeling in your body. And one of the techniques that I've learned from Qi Kong is to actually shake it out. You need to shake the tension out and use your imagination while you're doing this. So imagine you're flicking it out of your hands like I'm doing now and even out of your legs as well. Imagine that that tension, you are flicking it out into the earth again. Use your voice as well. Allow, if you can, your voice to discharge the tension with any sound such as <laughs> If I can do it on camera, you can do it on your own. Now, keep on doing this and even use this kind of movement. Patting down, patting the inside of your legs and even these parts as well and let it go that way. It's important to use your imagination as well as the physicality to do this exercise, okay? And the second thing I would do uh, is use diaphragmatic breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing is a type of breathing you do where you fill your belly up and take a nice deep breath through your nose. You allow the breath to fill your chest as well. You hold the breath for a couple of seconds then you exhale it out. Now you can start it by exhaling it out with your mouth with a ha ah sound. Ah, sound like you're sighing after a really long day at work. Or if you can't do that for whatever reason, maybe there's people around, use the nose. Eventually we want to use the nose anyway. We want to make sure that the in-breath is shorter than the out-breath. So you can count if you like. Count slowly, you can count to three and then out to four or longer. Empty, empty, empty as you are breathing out. So it's like holding and then see how long my out breath was? It needs to be really long and calm so it's not like or anything like that. Now you want to be doing this for at least five minutes because you want to engage your parasympathetic nervous system which is the antidote for the sympathetic nervous system being engaged which is the fight or flight mode in which we go when we have performance anxiety. So the five minutes are really important. Do not just do it for 30 seconds and then think, oh this doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. You need to stick with it, okay? Um, this is actually, by the way, a great way to avoid panic attacks and even prevent them or even make them go away if you're already in one. Um, the third technique I would suggest is a technique borrowed by various traditions. Um, I'm not going to go into the details, but what I would like you to know is the basics of it. So imagine that if you were to stretch your hands all the way, um, there was a sphere that was surrounding you completely to that edge and this sphere is transparent but the edges are strong, the edges are very, they contain your life energy and imagine that you are grounding yourself, uh, inhaling the energy from the earth and are allowing it to come to this point which is two inches below the navel some people call this the Dantian, it's your power center and allow the energy to come into this center and then from that center to go out into your sphere and fill the sphere with that energy until it is completely filled in like a light globe with the light on. And any excess energy can just simply go back down into the earth. This is a good technique to really ground yourself and empower yourself. Imagine that when you are going on stage, you are always inside this light globe. So you are home, you are safe. And anything negative just simply bounces back. You need to use this um, only after though you have done the breathing and you've done the um, exercises of letting go the tension physically because 
um, until you calm down physically, you can't really engage in anything uh, that engages your prefrontal cortex, which is the executive part of the brain, because otherwise, if you're in a panic, this part of the brain will be shut off and thinking uh, in black and white terms, life or death, and that's very normal, that's just the way that our brain works. So, with that, I'll leave you, and I let me know how you go. I would really like to hear from you comments of how this worked for you uh, in the comments below. And until then, have a good one.